Hello everyone. The title of today's lecture is Decimal Representation of Real Numbers. Decimal Representation of Real Numbers. So, we will be representing real numbers in decimals. So, if you see now, the outline of the today's lecture is we, what we want to represent rational numbers in the decimal form and irrational numbers. These are the two outlines. But in the today's lecture, we will be covering only in the first part, this first point. We will we'll going to learn how to represent the rational numbers in their decimal representations. Now, here if you see, there is again some prerequisite. That is, you should know already in advance that what are rational numbers and what are irrational numbers. So, do refer to the previous lectures if you are watching this video directly without going through what are rationals and what are irrationals. So let's start with the today's lecture. Now I have read the information. So if you see here, there are some rational numbers which I have just mentioned today. 7 by 3, 7 by 8 and 1 by 7. These three are very important for us in order to understand the concept. So, what I'll be doing, I'll, I'll try to divide each of the numbers by their denominators and we'll try to find their decimal representations. So, just, just focus on the first one, 10 by 3. So, I have to divide. It's a kind of a division that I have to make. Here is my 3. So, this part is called the dividend. This is called the divisor. Let me write it more clearly. Is you don't know dividend divisor the number which divides the number which we are trying to divide is called the dividend and through which we are dividing is the divisor now if you divide it I ask you to first uh, pause the video and try to divide it yourself Now if you see here, I got a quotient, this quantity is called a quotient and now here what I got is a remainder. The remainders are very important for us in the today's lecture. So if now if you see here, I cannot able to divide it further because it's less than the divisor. So I have to, what I have to do, I have to take a decimal here and I have to mark a 0 over here. So now, now it's possible to divide the 10 by 3 and which is of course if you subtract it you will going to get 1 again put a 0 to continue the division you can easily subtract it if you see now there is a pattern if you can identify here that every time the remainder is the same so that our quotient will also be the same so this will be like this way and it will also going to continue in a similar fashion fine so this is its decimal representation I don't need to divide it further because these tails of 3 are same they are repeating now let's come across the remaining two types of rationals I ask you to again pause the video and try to divide it yourself now I have calculated all the rationals and you can also verify your division that this will be going to get. Now, if here we have to make some observations, some quick observations. In the very first case, if you observe the quotient, the 3 was repeating. This digit was repeating again and again. In the second case, in the quotient, I have you have to focus here first that it is a finite, it terminated, it, there is no such repetition. And also, now here, there again, there is some repetition. In the first and third case, if you identify the remainders, try to identify the remainders. This is the remainder. And this was here also in the very first stage before applying the decimal and taking the zero. The remainder starts repeating itself. Then in that case, if you see, the quotient are also repeating. This is the first observation. You can see here also. Here your remainder is now 1 and in the first stage, it was also 1 because he was not able to divide, so it, it itself it was the remainder. Fine. So, 
now this much if you if you divide it again you will observe that this much the, the this process this terms will going to repeat again you can divide it easily if you are not able to divide here you have to put a zero then 7 times 1 so 1 4 2 that will again going to repeat so this is the first observation which we made that if the remainder is repeating itself then so is the quotient that there is some pattern in the quotient which is repeating there are some number of digits which are repeating second thing is this is the first observation second observation is number of digits which are repeating in the quotient if you see here only one digit this 3 is repeating this is the digit which is repeating which is coming again and again so number of digits so the number of digits which are repeating is 1 and which is less than the divisor the divisor is 3 the number of digits which are repeating in the quotient is 1 if you come here now hey, how many digits are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 in all there are 6 digits which are repeating in the quotient which is 6 which is less than the divisor again so this is the second observation the third observation is if you see here that the case in which your quotient terminated then the remainder was zero it's an important observation because what here it what it means here that you was able to divide the number completely by the divisor so because of that here your remainder is zero that is nothing remains to divide it means that nothing remains to be divided now because the remainder is zero here the remainders are non zero it means the number haven't you, you are not able to divide the number completely so there are some decimal so these are in terms of the quotient these are their decimal representation fine let me now run this i have just written all the observation which we have just quoted that but if you if you able to understand these properly that the very first one is the possible choice for the remainders are either it will be zero or non zero that is now now the second is the number of entries which are repeating are always less than the divisor which we have explained and finally the third this is very important if the remainder is not zero and start repeating itself then the number of entries if you observe here if you observe in their decimal representation when we have divided then the number of entries in their quotients that is the number of entries which are repeating are always less than the divisor so this we have just mentioned here so this uh, we have concluded the first part decimal representation of real number do watch the next video in the coming video i will be discussing and elaborating more on these dividing it further in the two cases and then we will be moving ahead with the discussion of representation of irrational numbers do find some uh, good relevant links in the description and uh, do like this video share about our initiative among your friends and do subscribe the channel thank you so much